Gang Squad, welcome back to another episode of Season 4 here, our second uh, second little day up here at Revy, and it looks like we got some snow coming down, some decent snow. We woke up to probably about a dusting on the ground, so I think it could be could be pretty solid, uh, maybe a little mini sleeper pow day, but I am joined by Papa Joe and my sister Natalie, who got in last night, so giving them the first first dose of Revy. We got Nat Cat, I think she's been on a few vlogs before, but Nat is from Jackson. She is kitted out in the Arc'teryx. Oh yeah. But I think more importantly, we got she's these. got the ARW JJUL. So this is this year's version of the women's JJ, which is not only a beautiful ski, but super light and just super cool to see uh, the ARW JJ. So this is really the equivalent of the Stoke Elks. And I think, are these Griffins? Is that what's on no, here? No, no, no. They're the Shaw Wardens. Wardens. The Wardens. Yeah, 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 exactly. And the she's Shaw got like Wardens. these gold Wardens, which are pretty rad. Oh, and then also rocking the purple zip poles and stuff. So, And then Joe is kitted out with some new Montec gear, looking fresh. The zip line clicks up top. And then he's actually using my old 106s, the That's 180s, what? um, that didn't really work out for me for whatever reason, but Joe, I think he tried them out and he actually kind of liked them, so he brought them up as his only ski. I know it's gonna be a, a scary quiver day <laughs> for sure. That is a brave move, just coming up to uh, BC with one ski and a relatively new ski. So this mount's a legit one, and I only have, you know, barely like a legit day here. So we're we're gonna be figuring this out together, but it could be a little mini pow. Okay. in the trees I think there's a few cut in uh, so just be careful. So we gotta kinda go over where those people are. But the snow is sick and good. I know last time I went right with that tree clusters and literally just like I'm just straight down. So that's what I was kinda doing. Alright that's fine. So you wanna go over that way? It doesn't matter. I was gonna try a little different area. Okay. I was just gonna go straight. You okay Nat? Um, yeah. Just take your time we're just gonna get warmed up. There she is. Yeah, it's really good stuff. I know. It is good. Full life run. is good or life is good? I mean, what's yeah, no, up? It's beautiful. My dad, I love you so much. I love you too, but I guess I love you too. All right. It looks like there's a camera. Yeah, we just we gotta go down to the right and then it kind of traverses back, so. This is, it's nothing, it's easy. I mean, it's rocky right here. There's a track, there's a track, but it, it exposed some rocks. And then straight off is a, is a cliff. Yeah, yeah, straight through here is fine. You'll be underneath where Joe is. Your best, you gotta come this way. But it, it's, there's some rock. If you go straight, it's a cliff. That 
have some good skiing. Yeah, yeah. yeah snow is so dank. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. I'm going right here. Yeah, go for it. Shit looks soft as hell. Nice. Dude, you're making me do that. Woo! Oh, yeah. This is where I'd be really careful. Okay. Because this is how I got cliffed out. Like right below you, Joe's a cliff. So st don't go down too low yet. Cause that's all gonna be a cliff. That's all a cliff right there. Hold on, Joe. Cause there's another cliff sign right there. Yeah, I would rather push right. Joe, I think we should push right. I Yeah, I mean, I think the higher you can get, the better, because I, I think this might all be a cliff band. Now, I think we should try to go, go in, there. in there and see see what that's like. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay high. Then. All right, yeah, go that way. I'll go to this one with Joe for now. All right, so this is good here. Yeah, same. What do you guys think of Rebel Stoke so far? Dude, this is sick. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Yeah, this is a repeat trip. Definitely a skier's mountain. Got a lot of great terrain. I love the trees. First of all, they're pretty just in and of themselves. But two, they give you so much visibility. And little drops, it's kind of awesome. What I've noticed up here in BC a lot is how quickly the visibility can change from bad to good and also good to bad. So it seems like whether this is a cloud or fog or whatever, it does move really quick. So. Um, before we couldn't even really see the lift line and now we're able to see up to the top um, But you know that could all change in a few minutes or so, but um, I Think we're gonna maybe work our way over towards like the the back little Northway bowls or and stuff like that But we're all we're all pretty tentative and cautious just because of the terrain here But it's definitely nice to be with people while while skiing this stuff rather than always solo, but uh, Yeah, good skiing good snow Good vibes. And good vibes. Armada game. Wanted to do the uh, the boot pack up to sub peak here. It's a little bit less packed out than when I did it, but I think the conditions will be pretty good. Nice job. Holds really, so the footing is kind of tough. After all that, clip <laughs> made it back up to this little summit, but it is, uh, you know, I don't think you can see more than 10 feet in front of you. Luckily I was here a little, you know, a few days ago, so I kind of have an idea, but this is pretty socked in up here and it's the end of the day, but everyone made it. There's people behind us. Now we're, we're in complete whiteout conditions. To Whose now. idea was this anyways? <laughs> and that was probably one of the hardest vertical hikes we've had. Well, that, today. That was my cardiac stress test. I always think that you're... 
make our way down like before it gets too late and stuff and too much more gnarly. Too much yeah. more gnarly? Yeah, I think we should start to work our way down. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if waiding it out is... No, I don't, I don't, think, we're, I don't think we're waiting it out. I no, think we're just... We're skiing. All right, click in and get out of here. Yeah, this is, yeah, this seems like the traverse here. I'm kind of on it. It's just so windblown. You're okay. Just go straight into it. I can see you from here. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, and that in the visibility is improving as we get below. We, we could that cut that way. It's just, I know it's rocky. Yeah, yeah, no, no I think you're right. Let's get, get this. Kind of, yeah. Is anyone else concerned about slides? I am a little bit, but we're not, we're going to be fine. And I don't know if we should just cut that way and just ski in between the rocks a little bit. And, uh, no, no, I wouldn't, I would say to keep going over that way where you're on the other side of that rock. All right, let's just, you know, where you're going across. Abby safety in here. I can't, yeah. I think is I can't see now. I, I honestly feel a little better going there okay. than I would trying to traverse this whole bowl. Sure the yeah, and go in. I'd rather. Can't we go right there? Is there, is there a cliff down there? I think. No, I think the cliffs. I think the little rocks that you see is kind of what it is. I would just go, you know, I would just go easy through yeah, there. Right, right, okay. But you can see where those guys are. It looks pretty okay. Yeah. I just, I don't want to. Traverse across the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, let me. Alright, so there's another. There's a rock kind of right where Joe's on straight down in here. But I think I can, you know, let me go down, I guess, into the choke. It's okay, it's narrow. Yeah, it's all good if you want to come this way more. Yeah, you're good to drop in there, Joe. Yeah, it's a little bit, and there's one right in front of me. Keep coming, keep coming. Now you can, you can drop and stay to your left. But don't go, don't go past me. This is all cliff. Come back this, come back this way. And just be right here. You should be fine. Yeah. Let's go this way a little bit, in case, uh... I gotta say, I think Revelstoke is is definitely 
in the top of the resorts that I've been to. I mean, even with the limited time I've been there, it is certainly a sick resort that I think requires some true knowledge and expertise to like really extract the best time out of there. But that whole back area is just filled with incredible terrain and opportunities and all that sort of stuff. However, I think the one kind of downside to Revelstoke is that a lot of the good stuff requires hiking in and kind of like a long traverse out. So in terms of like a lapability factor, I think it does lack a little bit there, but it's not like, it's not a lot of hiking. Um, it's like just enough to make it uh, worthwhile and, and stuff like that. But what you get, I mean, it's definitely worth it. Um, and even skiing from the top all the way to the base of the gondola, I think there's like over 4,000 feet of vertical. So it is definitely um, a big resort. Perhaps the biggest thing I've learned from being in BC so far is to just not drive at night. Do not drive in the dark. I just drove from Revelstoke about two hours to Golden, British Columbia, which is east um, in, in uh, House's uh, Kicking Horse. And that entire drive was just, it was just, I, I don't know. It's not even that it's like a really gnarly road, relatively speaking, but it's just so dark. Um, and you have so many truckers up here that it's just like a lot of the stuff is single lane and it's just like, there's no reflectors on the road. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy how dark it is. And I feel like I don't have the best eyes when lights come on. Like everything just kind of merges into one and I'm like, I just can't see. And so do not recommend driving these roads, um, once the sun goes down, if you can help it. But, um, I am here in Golden, I'm staying at a hotel. I'm not sure if I'm sleeping in the van tonight or what the deal is, but um, I think we're gonna grab some dinner and then lay low. I'm exhausted from the day today. And uh, tomorrow we're skiing kicking horse, so should be another rad day. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of season four, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.